Okay, so we just did a test fire of the Nova uh, Springfield uh, LA Vickers Custom. This is my uh, fiddle gun for me to play around with different parts and uh, see how things work. Um, it's quite a nice little uh, piece from Nova. The kit was fairly straightforward, a minimal amount of work required. And this one does use the uh, Tokyo Marui in a chassis. It's not an advanced frame. Things that I've got on here at the moment is an edge, I think it's a T1 trigger. There's a nine ball thumb safety here. Uh, this is the original Tokyo Marie slide stop. It's an airsoft masterpiece spur hammer. And uh, an airsoft masterpiece silver mag catch that I had lying around. Of course, this is the, uh, I think the Pacmaya, I think that's the way it's pronounced, the Pacmaya grips. It's a Nova ducktail grip safety and at the moment the original Tokyo Marie main spring housing. So uh, that's where we're at at the moment. Um, I forget what the front sight is, um, something that was lying around in the box, uh, possibly AIP or similar. <clears throat> but it does have DAA fiber optic sights, which makes for a very nice and very bright um, front sight. So let's check that she's empty and we'll open her up and see what's going on inside. As you can see, this is the original Tokyo Marie in a chassis here. Um, there is a upgraded uh, Airsoft Masterpiece disconnector and valve knocker locker. There is also an upgraded uh, valve knocker from Airsoft Masterpiece and a sear from, ooh, from AIP, I believe. They do the 1911 sear that I've used in this one. So today we are working on the slide. This is the Edge Ultralight Blowback Unit and as you can see we have the original Tokyo Marui hop-up and guide rod. The spring is I think an AIP 120. It's got a couple of AIP washers on as well as the original TM washer and uh, I think I've upgraded the uh, uh, guide rod cap and the bushing are garda versions and the barrel is a silver airsoft masterpiece 1911 straight barrel so that's where the gun's at at the moment we've just done a test fire on the chrono and this gun is achieving around 265 uh, fps now i'm not too surprised this is the original tm nozzle and uh, original tm hop up so there's Although the blowback unit is a good one, uh, I'm waiting to upgrade the, uh, the nozzle. Um, and today we're going to be upgrading the barrel and bucking. And this is what we have. We have a PDI 6.01 inner barrel, um, which is not a product I've used before. Most of my guns have a 9-ball 6.00. And also a uh, Maple Leaf Decepticon Bucking uh, 70 degrees. Again, I've never used these before. Let's see what putting these into this gun will do. So we take off the stock TM spring guide and the AIP, I think it's an AIP 120 spring. It's full length at the moment, makes for quite a snappy recoil. We'll take out the guide plug. This is an enclosed guide cap as is the 1911 style. And then we need to remove the bushing. So that twists and pulls out. Then we can hopefully pull the barrel out. And there we have the stock uh, hop-up unit and the airsoft masterpiece silver barrel. We can pull 
that one straight out. And what you'll see is there's a small o-ring here and a bit of Teflon tape and another o-ring and that just helps with keeping that barrel um, square and steady within the uh, self masterpiece barrel. Um, you can do this with a couple of different o-rings that I don't have at the moment. I would use 7mm diameter and then maybe a 2mm thickness and a 3mm thickness um, at the rear just where it squashes into the barrel just to give you that really tight fit but here we are now it's time to change the barrel Let's go and do a test fire and see what difference that barrel and bucking has made. Wow. Fantastic. So, this is pretty good news. We saw the Springfield go from around 265 before dropping off um, FPS uh, to a whopping 285 FPS just by changing to that barrel and bucking. Now, FPS or power is fantastic, it's good news, uh, but is it accurate? That is a topic for another video. For today, I thought while we're fiddling, let's see what happens if we take one of my favorite guns, which has the nine ball uh, 6.0 and a nine ball hard bucking. If we put that into the Springfield, what results will we get? So uh, let's take those apart and see what happens. Okay, so that was pretty cool. With the uh, nine ball barrel and bucking, we're hitting around 290 FPS. Uh, that's a little bit higher than the PDI, which was around 285, not really that much in it. But you know, while we're here, we've got to try an upgraded hop up. Let's put the Airsoft Masterpiece brass hop up unit in, along with the nine ball barrel and bucking and see what that gives us. Well, would you believe it, with the Airsoft Masterpiece uh, hop-up unit, the 9-ball bucking and barrel, we're achieving around 295 plus FPS before drop-off. I should mention that the 1911, the magazines have such a small area for gas, the drop-off is pretty fast after the first few shots. So all of the figures today are based on the first few shots that we've been looking at, but uh, I'm very impressed. Overall, I've got to say the PDI and Decepticon uh, unit is a fantastic improvement over stock, even with the stock hop-up unit. Um, a 25 frame per second improvement is fantastic. And bearing in mind that those two pieces together are coming in at, what, less than $45? The nine ball barrel and nine ball bucking is a little bit more expensive, somewhere around $55 for the both of those. Do you want to spend another $10 for maybe five frames per second more? That's up to you to decide whether that's worth it. Again, do you want to upgrade the hop up? That's a decision that you want to make. And of course, there are other things that affect the gas efficiency of the gun. Your, your loading nozzle, the rocket valve inside that, the seal that you get on the piston, the seal you get from the, the magazine gas routing lips into the loading nozzle, those are all other factors that will affect your gun. And of course, you could add another $15 for an enhanced loading nozzle, and you've probably got the best starter upgrades for your high capper or 1911 
that you could be looking at. So I know that the uh, aluminium slides are glamorous, I know they look cool, I know that uh, snappy recoil springs um, make the gun feel great, but realistically if FPS and power is what you're after, start with your barrel and your bucking and, uh, and then take it from there. Look out for the next video where we use the same setups to test accuracy uh, and see what conclusions we can draw from those. Okay, this is Twisty Customs signing off. See you next time.